A common problem for patients who suffer from allergies or sinus infections is the development of nasal or sinus polyps. So polyps uh, in the nose form due to inflammation. Inflammation can be from allergies or infection that causes swelling of the mucous membrane that lines the sinuses in the nose. And that then results in the development of these polyps, which kind of look like grapes. They're fairly soft. And um, as demonstrated in the picture behind me, they occur in the, in the nose as well as the sinus area. And the problem is they can result in blockage of the sinuses, with it, which then causes symptoms of sinus headache, pressure, nasal congestion, difficulty breathing through the nose, post-nasal drainage, loss of smell and taste. So uh, these are the most common symptoms associated with nasal polyps. What is the treatment of nasal polyps? Well, there's a medical treatment which aims to decrease allergies, inflammation, and infection. And that can include uh, nasal steroid sprays, antibiotics, saline rinses of the nose and sinuses, as well as antihistamines, and sometimes oral steroids. Um, beyond that, if the polyps are reasonably large, they will require removal. And uh, this can now be done uh, in an office setting with uh, advanced uh, tools that we have to remove the polyps in the nose as well as in the areas of the sinuses that block the drainage and ventilation of those sinuses. And um, this can be done now in the comfort of the office setting. We've done several hundred of these now. And um, then, of course, the patient usually requires some kind of management for allergies and monitoring to prevent recurrence.